Okay, so let's talk all things temporalis muscle. It's the muscle that wraps around here. Um, it's the front of the skull. Okay, so it's a really thin sheath muscle. It doesn't have huge bulk, but it's littered with trigger points, and it most definitely is associated with our TMJ dysfunction. So along with masseter pterygoid, temporalis is another muscle that you will feel when you clench your teeth. So just clench for a shaman, and you can feel it contract underneath. Now, there will be sensitive areas all the way along there, but if you work backwards and forwards and up and down, you should be able to pick up the trigger points. Now, when we're working with this muscle, the worst thing that you can do, and it's really annoying to me, is the actual, if you start to massage onto this muscle, make sure that you engage the muscle and move it as opposed to just rubbing lightly over the hair follicles, okay? Because if you're rubbing over those hair follicles, it's just annoying, okay? So you're not actually doing anything to the actual muscle itself. So you have to engage, so that means press down and then really move the tissue around as much as you can. So you want to explore as much range of movement with this muscle as you can. And along the way, you'll pick up trigger points. So if I go backwards, forwards, up like, oh, there's one. So once again, same process with all of our trigger points. We're just sitting, we're just gonna hold that there. We're gonna wait for that to subside, okay? So once again, if you press too hard, you're not gonna get the change. If you don't press enough, then you're not necessarily gonna get the engagement that you want, okay? So we just sit there, hold. Now once again, once that all starts to subside, then we can come back and we start to move the tissue as much as we can. And we're gonna work all the way along this muscle. So picking it up right around the ear. We actually get our clients to turn their head and then we can pick all the way around the ear itself, picking up all the trigger points. So if you find another one there, holding that as well, subside, move the tissue and you're just going to repeat that process all the way through this muscle all the way back and around the back of the ear as well. Okay, So we're looking at this whole area of temporalis coming all across here because it fills the temp the temporal as I said the temporalis muscle fills that temporal bone which also comes right down here and attaches into the jaw so that's temporalis and once again the trigger points for this can refer obviously in and around the head itself but into the TMJ itself sometimes the ear and even with some people we may even get some referral down into their neck as well so that's the temporalis muscle